South Coast State head coach John Stigelmeyer, coach, you want to start us off with a yeah. comment and we'll uh, open up for questions. Uh, proud of our football program, proud of our football team, uh, really proud of those four guys that were in here that you bombarded with the questions. Um, uh, Western Illinois is a, is a really good football team right now. My head coach was on them and, and um, again, about the win tonight. Um, really excited about our fan support. A lot of positives tonight. And uh, it was a while coming, but good things take a while. And uh, we're going to build on this. Questions? Coach, uh, talk about the uh, resurgence of uh, Tyrell Cool in the past game. Uh, he had a big game for you guys tonight. Uh, made some clutches down the stretch. Uh, talk about Tyrell's importance to the team. Uh, uh, huge. It's huge. You know, a young man that had played running back, uh, we asked him to move. Uh, he made that commitment. That's not for a young man. And uh, we talked this week as a staff. He has gotten better every day. And I tell you what, he's a picture of what you can do when you when you, when you believe in the system and believe in yourself. And, uh, and anytime you catch a ball, though, uh, if somebody's got to throw it to the box. So it's a beautiful football. He's, he's had a huge impact on our football program. Coach, there were some sort of awkward moments today, some strange penalties and, and missed tackles, and you know, Kyle turns it over. Is this a case, though, where because you got that the end result, you, you kind of overlook it, try to build on that, and, and then you know, clean that up as, as the week goes on? Well, we don't we don't overlook anything, so we will we address any errors. Uh, we had four penalties in the first, and we had one in the, the second. That was a huge improvement. That's unacceptable. That's, they're a running team, but make them earn it. Don't, don't give them those extra yards. Um, so we'll address that. We're not going to we're not going to beat our guys up. But we're going to be win or lose. We approach it the same way in terms of uh, this is what we need to work on. And they're all something to work on. Coach, can you talk about scoring three touchdowns before the fourth quarter? Uh, we did what we needed to do to win the football game, and, and ideally we shouldn't have had to do that. But that bar is great. For that, 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 that quarterback from Western, he will he bring him back. And, uh, our guys respond, and uh, our team played better tonight. And uh, I'm excited about that. There's a lot of positives. I said that we can build on. We need to build on. Coach, you had a couple of big defensive stops early on Western Illinois, kept them out of the end zone in that first quarter. How big was that for the, for the defense to come out there and shut out the Leathernecks in that first quarter? And, you know, that's, that's huge because, uh, you know, you get ball and the fumble recovery and the, I think the mimic goal in that one. Uh, those things, uh, you think you, you scored on them. Almost. You know, the momentum that, that creates in the football team. So, you never know, know that, that at times we, we don't always do it, but football will have an impact. You know, at, you know, field goals, extra goals, that's a whole different football game. A lot of unique plays in this football game. Simple game plan. Uh, the fact that guy did a great, great job. They absolutely did a great job. Uh, my tight end did a great job. Uh, I tell you, Brian did a great job. And we got two good running backs. And they, 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 they did what they were supposed to do. Um, that's a good job. They've proved, proven that. And uh, our guys did a nice job. So, um, belief, we're going to tell you how to perform. Out of here. They didn't need me in the locker room. They were dancing and doing stuff. I feel uncomfortable. So, uh, <laughs> and I'm, I'm bad, but, uh, I just I, I stood up and I said, I'm proud of you. And, and uh, they, 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 you know, we have a neat football team. We have unbelievable senior leaders. And uh, I don't know if they deserve what they, they deserve. They deserve you know, a lot of I just stood up and said, man, you played for respect and you got some tonight. And, and we can have more of these. And uh, brought in the seniors to break them down and got got out of there. Just to see the seniors get a win, what did it go through your head? Like, what, how, how I, love you know? I love I love commits to something that works hard. Football is hard work. You know, it's real hard work. And around real real hard work is we work hard, and uh, we don't take days off. We don't mess around, and, uh, and that's life though. Work hard, you reap the benefits. Look at the door, not there. So you, you roll it out again. And first, Talk about the offensive line tonight, and they have some big holes in the game for Nett and Duffy. And all the good job. 
that, Ryan? Did you make any adjustments uh, going into this week's game? We didn't. We 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 we've did, uh, uh, this defense in, with Western and with uh, Kelby, and uh, we were back to what we thought was the best games for the most part. All zone blocking and they appear the other area. So it was a pretty pretty. I'm not taking away from uh, Western, uh, but it was a pretty simple game plan. Well, special teams were. Uh, good. Exciting. Good. good and bad ways. <laughs> what, what, are your, what, what are your thoughts on what's going on with that unit? Uh, okay. All right. The punt game was unbelievable. Dean Pretty was was uh, was excellent. Uh, our kickoff coverage, other than the one breakdown, was was very good. Our our short snapping was uh, uh, disappointing. And uh, the first one was was uh, was was too excited. Alternative and he rolls it back there, and uh, there's a lesson to be learned there. Not in the end uh, that, that we could have scored two points on the snap had we been one away. One guy go out, they had one guy cover him. Had we you know, two guys, go, who knows what could happen? We'll, we'll show that up. I, 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 that young man will his head up. Coach to be able to go five for five in the red zone. Uh, the past couple games, you kind of struggled there. Uh, you think this team has turned the corner where they're getting a system and maybe some of those young guys are buying into things? Uh, yeah, on the corner, um, I, I, I think our guys believe, and I think there was proof tonight. There were some results, and so we will we'll, we will build on that. Uh, we, we play one game at a time and one play at a time. Our guys understand that each one of those plays can have an impact. And uh, we try to not play the game of football like that, but like this. And that's what we'll, this is how we'll approach it. But there's a lot of positive games going on. Electronic around the field. Did you talk to He was. He, came and he, uh, he was at our walkthrough this morning. They did our chapel uh, this afternoon. Had a, had a neat, <coughs> neat uh, message from guys, and um, uh, it was special to have him back. Adam Timmerman was on I saw him. A lot of alums uh, were back, and uh, that's that's our football family, and that's exciting. Coach, I believe this is the first time all year you guys have scored a touchdown in the first half. Uh, what was kind of sad at halftime, knowing that you were kind of showed you were able to score against them early? We on. just we, 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 we talked about uh, you know let's go and win the football game. You know, in fact, to be honest with you, I'm back here uh, thinking we got a bunch of time. We did, and the team was ready to go, so I didn't say anything to them. To be honest with you, so maybe we'll just apply that uh, rule. Just keep my mind. Uh, they're ready to go. It is 25 minute half, and they didn't realize that, and they they got uh, they were stood in the hallway down here for four minutes waiting to go out. So, which is an example of times we overcoach things, we overtalk things. Uh, we made some minor adjustments, and they went out and won the football game against a real good football team. Coach, any, any thoughts on the way the team kind of weathered the adversity of an 0-4 start? That's this you know, that's a difficult stretch, and these guys, since they've been with you, haven't been through thing, anything like that. Uh, I think they weathered it like winners. Uh, I don't think they know they weathered it like winners. Again, they understand that um, you know every day is a chance to get better. Every every play is a chance to win a football game, and and uh, their their importance and their um, what they say society football has doesn't have anything to do with winning and losing. All we ask them to do is do their best. And, and, and they won tonight. They feel good. We're going to go back to work uh, tomorrow. Coach, how important is this win tonight in terms of maybe getting some momentum for Southern Illinois next week? I think it's huge. Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, we got to go on the road that's tough in the Missouri Valley uh, against a, 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 the program that probably has the greatest tradition. And, uh, we, you know, we need to build on the positives, not beat our guys up. We won't. We'll just make the corrections. But I think it's huge. Two more, the Coach. The, do you feel that the pressure is a little bit off now that you get that first win and you avoid the worst start? What pressure? There you go. No, I, 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 you know, we, we, uh, I make light of that. You know, uh, our job in the end is to put a good product out there on the field and win football games. I didn't mean to make light of that. And uh, uh, myself, and hopefully our players don't feel that pressure. It's built in, but you don't, you don't, you don't perform at your best when you feel like there's a cloud over your head. You know, God gives you opportunities, and you make the most out of them. And that's what we try to do. Here. One more. So, Talk about the impact Corey Jeske's had this year. Obviously, he saw limited time last year, but this year he's made some big impacts for you in key games, I believe. 17 tackles, a sack. Uh, talk about his play this year. Well, he, when your safety's making 17 tackles, he's, he's number one, he's earning a scholarship. 
number two, that that's way too many for the defensive backs to be making. But the, 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 what I love about Corey Jeske, there's many things, but his spirit, his, his energy, his excitement, uh, and he always goes full speed. So huge impact. Uh, Conrad Kirstead goes down, can't play. And, and again, that, that hurt us as a football team, but that's one of the reasons Corey has stepped up. And that's, that's football, that's life. So, one more. Can you talk about Kyle's night? Kyle had a great night. Kyle ran hard. I don't know how many times his head hit that Mike Lanker of theirs. But uh, those two guys are tough guys. And uh, very well. I thought Tyler Guffey did a phenomenal job also reading things. Again, tough defense to run against. Uh, Kyle Manette is a good football player. He, he's a great leader. And uh, I think that phone really uh, lit a fire under him. We had a good night. Thanks.